And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Sejuani. Gonna go ahead and play Victor in another form. This deck's gonna be kind of like the Teemo Sejuani um, deck that's been kind of popular over the last few months of just like a, a nice fun deck to play with a bunch of puff caps. Um, but we're gonna be switching out Teemo for Victor because we are gonna be playing a whole bunch of created cards in here also. And so we're gonna have that. Um, so if we kind of look at our deck, I'm I'm uh, taking out some things that were really um, like the, some cornerstones of the old Teemo Sejuani deck. From from whenever I've been playing this deck here recently, I've kind of noticed that like Starlet Seer doesn't really fit in, especially whenever we're playing Ballistic Bot and Victor. Um, you know, like whenever you had Teemo that was an elusive, that could be important. But we also just don't really have room for Starlet Seer. I think I think that that it slows the deck down too much to have because. We already have, so basically you have Ballistic Bot and Puff Cat Peddler are like the two most important cards to have early on. And you want, you want like Bot on turn two, Peddler on turn three. So, and, but you don't really want to be attacking or blocking with either Bot or Peddler. And so having a third one of those cards that you don't want to be attacking or blocking with when you have just Bot and Starless Seer and Peddler, it's just too, it's just too much, um, too many cards that don't really attack or block. So we're getting rid of Starless Seer. Uh, instead, we're going to have Veteran Investigator in here, which is, of course, really good with Puffcat Peddler. We're playing this in here because we can play this and attack and block with this thing, right? Like, this is a good card to um, have in combat. I think we need another card in combat. And then I'm also, um, because Victor is a four mana card, and, uh, and because of that, I'm actually not playing Chump Wump. Is that the name of the card? Clump of Wumps? Chump Wumps? The four mana card. I think it's Chump Wumps. Yeah, Chump Wump. Uh, that's that's a card that you know basically everybody has Chump Wump in here. But Victor's already a four mana card, and I felt like I had too many four mana cards, so I actually took out Chump Wump, and instead we're playing a couple of copies of the much cheaper Clump of Wumps, where we only get one Mushroom Cloud. But I just wanted the cheaper card. I didn't want to just again. I wanted another card that I could play early and affect the board. And so because of those because of those changes, also we're going to have a lot of two mana cards. And so I wanted to play some Insightful Investigator to be able to get uh, this be a card advantage engine for us. And so that's, again, another four mana card. So, you know, it also just squeezes out the Chump Wump. So we're going to be playing this uh, Insightful Investigator with tons of twos uh, to be able to, to draw. Also have a Terrative Improvement, a card I've been very, um, very impressed with. It can get more Puff Cat Peddlers, which is, gonna, you know, Puff Cat Peddlers, very, very important for us. Or just, you know, like more Ballistic Bots. Um, or, you know, like if, if we've already got the Peddler stuff going in the like real late game, we can um, Iterative Improvement, better in Investigators. So we got all that going on. Um, and so the reason, so what our deck's trying to do with all that going on is we're trying to, like Puff Cap Peddler, again, very, very important. We're trying to get as many Puff Caps as we can in our opponent's deck. So that each turn they're drawing a Puff Cap and taking... Uh, damage to the Nexus, plus Ballistic Bot creating these Ignitions take damage to the Nexus. And so they're taking Nexus damage every turn, then your Sejuani is going to level up very quickly because they're, you know, once five different rounds happen where they take Nexus damage, then it's leveled up, then each round, whenever they take Nexus damage, so drawing those Puff Caps, we're going to be Frostbite and everything. Um, so Sejuani is going to be doing that. Um, so that's, that's kind of the, the plan of the deck. We're going to see if, if it works out. Um, I, yeah, I, I like these changes in here with this deck. I'm kind of removing some clunkiness, getting rid of the Starlet Sierra, the Clump of Wumps, um, trying to have a lower to the ground version of the deck. But we're going to be mulliganing hard for Ballistic Bot and Puff Cap Peddler. Those are going to be the two cards we're really going to want to see with our mulligans. I love it. <laughs> Double Puff Cat Peddler. Uh, this is going to be good. It's good to have two Puff Cat Peddlers because if one dies, to you know, basically Culling Strike is the card they can use to kill Peddler. And so if they if they're able to kill Peddler with Culling Strike, we got to back up. Um, if they if they don't have Culling Strike or if they have like the five one challengers, we have some troll chance, and we're going to need to be able to protect these Peddlers in combat also. Once I stand papers, now faces. Me. All right, that's one for Sejuani. Ooh. So 
if they play Trapper, am I playing Gotcha? And Gotcha that thing. I guess I gotta save Gotcha for Ash, but I want to cast Gotcha this turn. So by not playing that Ignition last turn, I have three mana now, so now I can play the Ignition with having the Peddler in play, and I still get to keep the mana available for Troll Chan. <clears throat> Okay, so worst case scenario, they did have Culling Strike. And that's why we got a backup peddler. What did we catch? Alright, looks like I'm gonna need a blocker. Keeping them all these puff caps. They got 11 so far. Not an easy turn. I'm gonna get this in play. Counter to that reckoning. Unfortunately, that rummage goes away. That was going to be a good rummage that we would have had. So they're at four out of five for Sejuani. So all I got to do is cast this ignition and make it five out of five. Um, I'm kind of worried. About, I think they may have another reckoning, right? I think I think maybe their plan, like if I go Sejuani, I think maybe their plans just to play another reckoning. Oh, let's do that. So what I was going to do, they were going to reckoning, and then I was going to harsh winds and get rid of their, you know, get rid of their uh, five power things. That's what I was going to do, but obviously it would have been a lot better to just play the Sejuani, because then if they play the Assessor, they draw that Puff Cap, it Frostbites everything. They draw Puff Cap, Frostbite everything. And now we got pretty good attacks. With everything being Frostbitten. And this is... this game really just showed off our deck, right? Like, that, this is what our, our deck's supposed to do. We get these ignitions that deal Nexus damage. We have um, Puff Cap Peddler. Give him these Puff Caps. Get to five Carefully. different turns of Nexus damage. And then Sejuani. Um, frostbite their stuff every turn. Exactly what our deck's supposed to do. Join me if you want to live. Um, I think I, I want to spend my mana. I think I want to play this aftershock. Just get rid of this challenger, and of course a five power thing if they have more assessor. Could do the damage upstairs. Um. Also, that I know that card would have been good against the Ash. Gotcha. That's pretty good for them putting a trap, you know, trapper on top. Because if they draw a trapper, that's no, you know, would have no puff caps, which that's what they did. 
but they play that. I just play Ignition. Crossbite all that. Alright, so I think I'm going to go with the Troll Chant. Because it's a two mana card. They should be challenging the Peddler, I would think. Alright, let's see. Trying to kill the bot. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. All right, let's add up those puff caps. All right, GGs. This looks like an interesting ephemeral deck. And I think I'll just keep all of these. Yeah. Got Mystic Shot for uh, Katarina, and we have Aftershock for Callista. And then we have our, our Victor said, or uh, Bot said Juani. Bot Victor. <laughs> there we go. And we also have the Bot Victor part of our deck. Let's see what's out there. Um, Oblivious Islander with Katarina is really cool. If y'all don't know about about that, because you can give Katarina Ephemeral. Like, it's a really cool combo. Which it looks like maybe that's what they're doing. You can give the Katarina Ephemeral and then attack with Katarina. And whenever Katarina deals damage, it goes back to your hand and it does its dying. Okay, that's that's the one for Callista. Okay, so they're just doing on Curse Keeper. Not nearly as exciting. I didn't like how Victor would tap me out, decided to go this route instead. another ephemeral I can shoot that and then they don't get another shark but if they have another ephemeral I was hoping they'd be a little bit more scared than attacking with all those things. You could really use lifesteal. So I could have saved two life by killing one of those with a mystic shot. Um, but if they do have Katarina, I gotta be able to kill that. Um, obviously it's about like Hecarim right now. That's that's like the real scary card that if They've had a great a great hand. If they have this and if they the last card is just Hecarim, I'm in a lot of trouble. 
Alright, we can use some lifesteal. That's probably me playing that too hasty. I think I should I should have played this ballistic bot first. Yeah, I've played the single player lab a couple of times now, twice. It's it's really fun. We did the first one with Aphelios. We did that one here on stream. That one that video is up on YouTube. And then I and then um, off stream last night I played it with uh, Lulu. I don't know what those mean. All right, so we know that they have the two sharks. Okay, so Warden's Prey made this card. So if I, you know, obviously I kind of want to shoot that. Try to keep these sharks from coming back. Hopefully this isn't another ephemeral. Okay. So they get a one drop from their deck. Good. The one drop is not ephemeral. Oh, did my opponent whiff on Stalking Shadows? Oh, I feel bad for him. Is that what they were emoting about? Oh, I, I just missed it whenever I was talking everything. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't happen very often for me. I, I usually whiff way more than my opponents do. But I guess they whiffed there. That's too bad for them. Sorry, Mystic Shot. We're not going to be playing yet because the game is over. And we got the win. 2 0, Victor Sedwani. Oh no, not a Nivea. No. Anivia decks are so good. I'll go ahead and mulligan that Elixir of Iron. Okay, I wouldn't have mind keeping Elixir of Iron, but you know, we, we want to find our threats. You know, specifically our Puff Cat Peddler. Yeah, we really need Puff Cat Peddler. We really need to sh get a bunch of shrooms for them. Humanity is obsolete. Lots of shrooms. System upgrade. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. <laughs> I remember the terrifying days of burst speed on Yielding Spirit. Those are the good days. I mean, that was also back with like four mana Will of Ionia to counter him. So Avalanche is, you know, pretty devastating, but at least my two drops don't die to Avalanche, so that's the good part. That was the worst thing we could see this turn. Avalanche, then Vile Feast. Keep leveling up this victor. And leveling up the Sejuani. I guess we're leveling both up. Stop with these avalanches. Save the missing 
We need to draw more threats. Less removal. I need Peddler. Yeah, Puffcat Peddler. No, not not more removal. They're gonna heal their they're gonna be able to heal their Nexus fairly well. Twitch Prime rewards free epic wild cards today. Nice. The spirit of winter awakens. So I can go gotcha plus mystic shot plus another mystic shot to kill that Anivia. It's asking a lot. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, great maker. For my homeland. Just killing Anivia is just not it's just not good to kill Anivia. Unfortunately, because he just turns on their rekindlers and harrowings and all that kind of stuff. Like I just don't even want to kill Anivia. Okay, leveled up Victor. Hopefully, like, Spell Shield. Or Elusive. Regen. I don't want to play another thing out for Ruination. A lot of things can go wrong with attacking. Okay, so what's my plan? Yeah, see, they have to they have to try to kill their own thing. They've wanted their Anivia to die. Now, now their rekindler's turned on and everything. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Yeah, it's how much respect. Like the this puffcat, puffcat peddler is just amazing. You can see the respect for puffcat peddler right there. Spell shield. Spell shield. Alright, well, I guess we will attack. I don't know if I should attack. Actually. Alright, so I go this, they go... Okay. So, Ruination... Hmm. It's... I don't think they have Ruination, because they would have played Ruination they had at the last turn. But, you know, like, they're gonna have... I think I think I actually just kind of do these things. I think another Vengeance is, is incredibly likely, or Harsh Winds, if not that. Certainly considering passing. Yeah. Just don't think we need to like attack into harsh winds or just like let them vengeance. You know, vengeance plus other stuff. Like again, like <laughs> they're gonna have to spend mana. I could just sit here and just keep making these things. They're gonna have to spend mana. I like them just burning all that mana. 
one candle for every this I get to just keep on going. Time. Keep getting more cool stuff. Because now they're at seven. And they only have six mana. Oh, now you get spell shield. Yeah, I think I think I think it can gain because it doesn't have spell shield anymore. So I think it could, could gain spell shield again. I can't I can't think of anything that saves them because I just I'm just gonna go aftershock aftershock for six damage. If they just have like I guess they'd have to have like trip no they have like triple vile feast maybe because if they're playing or I guess withering whale withering whale saves them. Never mind withering whale does because that's three health that I don't because like grass the undying if they try to like grass the ballistic bot. I save. Okay, yeah, that's another thing that thrills, that heals three. They had to have something that heals three. So they had they had to have something that healed three. I was forced by winter. That wasn't just scrappy I died. <laughs> And I think right now I just go to attacks and attack with everything and just kill this Anivia. There's the harsh winds that they would have used the previous turn. It's like if I would have attacked that other turn whenever they're sitting with all that mana, that that was their plan was harsh winds. Um, and then they would, you know, then they would have had more mana to like play other stuff. But like whenever I passed, they didn't get to do that. By playing the Mystic Shot here, it frostbites the Rekindler so it doesn't kill my Ballistic Bot. Goes away. I'm just gonna save the rummage. Uh, rummage those two away. I like using. Yeah, I'd rather have that one mana deal one damage than this elixir of iron. So this is harrowing. Oh, ruination. That's worse for me. Alright, love, love that draw. We obviously need two mana cards to go along with it, but it's a very good draw. Like The Harsh Wind's not a good draw, for example. Maybe they play an Anivia here and tap out. Do, 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 do. 
The reason to wait is because this aftershock can be really important with a Sejuani um, as far as uh, if if they do go harrowing and get a bunch of Anivias and everything, I may need to, you know, aftershock and frostbite all their stuff. The spirit of winter awakens. So yep, so the aftershock would not kill them. So now we get this frostbite that can be, you know, pretty useful. Let's soar. Show them our teeth. Alright, so that flash freeze is useless, but at least we're, we know we're not drawing that flash freeze this next turn now. You know, I had to play the gotcha this turn to get rid of that. So now I'm not drawing that useless flash freeze. Uh, never mind, we are drawing that useless flash freeze still. Those are those are some bad draws on top. Where's, it? Where's another one of those rummages? Get rid of these things. Alright, well... I guess that's probably about game. The Freljord's eternal guardian. Hopefully we get to play this. I really want to play it with the Cool, I want to play it with the investigator and play. I blocked two things. Harsh wins the other two. I still take lethal. So I just can't play this. Or I guess I have to play this. Yeah, I just have to play this. And then block three things. Harsh win two more and then go to a little bit of life. Oh, can't block. Never mind. Man, that Nivea deck is... <laughs> Nivea is so hard to beat. If only we had Peddler early and could have got them a good amount of puff caps. But yeah, they just healed their Nexus too much for me. Sejuani, Gangplank. Both of those champions sound super scary, both Sejuani and Gangplank. Um, I don't really know how we're dealing with either of those two champions. I think I'll keep a clump of Wumps for an early card and just kind of re-mulligan. Um, you know, Peddler and Ballistic Bot are the cards we really want to see all the time. Yeah, I wonder how much total uh, they healed that game. Probably a lot. Who's on top Yuck. Of I was thinking they were going to have the 3-1 the with Overwhelm. Yuck, that's a good higher gun. I mean, I can save my 2-2, but then my 2-2 is just going to have Vulnerable forever. Just to use that mana. I'm just gonna do that. Ye started without me. But I wanted to have the extra mana for whenever I play Insightful Investigator the next turn. Investigate. 
Investigating officer, unit six. Safety will cost you. This is really bad for us. Yeah, awesome, awesome hand. Time to get rich. At least no no champion right there, so that's good. They nabbed Victor. That'd be that'd be difficult to do. That'd be a, it'd be difficult to nab Victor. But you never know, I guess. They grow up so fast. You're not supposed to take champions with nab, but oh, I guess they just took they just took my burn spells. At least the good news is they use the, those burn spells on the peddler. Like that could have been five nexus damage. And they just didn't use the five nexus damage. See, the thing is, is I need to, I need to like Sejuani their Sejuani. Because <laughs> uh, like, if I play Sejuani and then they play Sejuani on mine, that's not good for me. Oh, well, I, I really, I think I just have to hope they don't have Sejuani, right? Like, if they have champions, also, I mean, just, I think they just win the game if they have champions. That's a champion. They had a champion. to one. I don't really know why my opponent's doing the, the sad face whenever they're, they just win this game. Mirror. Let's get Puff Cat Peddler. Try again. Puff Cat Peddler. Yeah, there's Peddler. Alright, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna just attack for the two before anything else is played. Cool. Take the trade. I do not like that though. Love we'll to see what they grabbed. They. I would assume they would grab the the three, deal three damage to a follower card. I hope they didn't. 
but that's the one that I would guess that they grabbed. Yeah, I would have saved one damage if I would have cast Elixir, Elixir of Iron, but it, it didn't matter. We were dead. Okay, now they got the two-cost follower one. And from there, they're getting the three damage card, Calibrum. So now they'll have the three damage card in hand. Okay, so I'm playing Victor, Troll Chant, and Mushroom Cloud this turn. Obviously, I'm playing the Vic the Hex Core upgrade, not Troll Chant, or not not the Mushroom Cloud. We'll play this Hex Core upgrade. So so far, Aphelios put Ballistic Bot into play, and also is going to do three damage to the Peddler, and also going to continue to do more stuff. But so far, it's just done that for a three mana three three. That's some pretty big advantage. Their ideas, that system open. I've always been a fun guy. See as I see. <laughs> Maybe challenger? Let me challenge Aphelios. Automatically makes the new moon weapon before I can even respond. Gotta get this thing out of here. Man, that Aphelios did so much. And they also discarded the other moon weapons. So, you know, they got a celestial card with that. So that one Aphelios made five cards. <laughs> it made five cards. Insane. The main question is if I block the 1-1. One, one. No. Yes, of course. Realize your potential. Realize their papers, now faces. Our goals are greater than petty violence. Life steal. Spell shield. Not bad either. Can you improve perfection? Ingenious. Nah, I can't even attack as a push. This was incredibly impressive game from Aphelios. This, if if you have doubts of how good Aphelios is, just watch this this game of how it just completely dominated. Okay, planning on playing Insightful Investigator and getting some card advantage going. Well. 
Well, it was a good game, I suppose. Good game. No, they're not... They don't have... I don't think they'd have the Overwhelm card. Or, oh, they have that thing that gives Overwhelm, right? Okay, yeah. I was gonna say they wouldn't have Zenith Blade, but yeah, I guess they'd have that card to give Overwhelm. First day on the job, the gun's real. That thing was lethal already. I must advance. I must improve. Man, Aphelios was insane. <laughs> that game. Unbelievable. Is that the best champion in the game? Is is that the best champion in the game? Like that one card, it it made that ballistic bot that obviously went ballistic. It you know, dealt three damage to one of my followers. It dealt three damage to a follower again. It made another card that then they used Spacey Sketcher to discard that other moon weapon, which that moon weapon turned into Equinox, which got rid of one, of, which got rid of my Ballistic Bot basically. And then it made um, a stun card as well, be able to break up a spell shield, so so that they were able to hush the victor. And um, and then they had. They had another Aphelios that made that then made you know the second Aphelios made the overwhelm for that ballistic bot that the first one made. And then that, that second one after the overwhelm, whenever they played two more two more cards, then they got another they were gonna get put another two drop into play. All while being one of them a three mana three three, and then the next one a three mana four four quick attack. I wonder if Aphelios is the new best champion in the game. It's possible. Yeah, Jack asks, why are the weapons so high above curve? Like, why does it do three damage for two mana? It's a good question. I don't know. I don't know why you get incredible good, incredibly good cards that you get five of them to choose from. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you get to just tutor up two drops and put them into play. Um, it's not even just drawing them. They just go immediately into play. Um, and you can design your deck around exactly what, like, two drops you want to you know, tutor and put exact, you know, immediately into play. I don't, I don't know, but, oh, well, um, we're going to play Aphelios up next. Um, the donation deck that we have up next for Aphelios is, is mono Targon, no other region. Um, so it's going to be only Targon with Zoe and Aphelios. And so we'll, uh, try that out. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there we go. So that was Victor Sejuani. The first game that we played really showed off the deck. That was that was like the game that really looked good, where we we had Ballistic Bot into Peddler, and you know then a bunch of spells to protect Peddler. We that was our only game that we were really able to give our opponent a good amount of puff caps. Um, that last game we also had turn three and turn four Peddlers, but our opponent uh, you know had Aphelio, so Aphelio just killed all my Peddlers, unfortunately. But that's that's really where this deck's gonna shine is because you know like you you basically just kind of stall and just play a long game and try to uh, have all those puff caps and ignitions kind of wear them down and then finish them off with Sejuani. All right, so that's it here for Victor Sejuani. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.